Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Age of Calamity playthrough. Now, I did do a decent amount of grinding, not total, total grinding. Because I can mark that, just in case there's, like, a shop that has it. But I went through and did a decent, decent amount of grinding and getting things. And I think I discovered, like, a, like a potential mechanic, because, um... If we go to, like, material, I had nine and did a single mission. It was a story mission, and I did put on, like, oh, plus, like, 15% item drop, but I think, but everything else wasn't as crazy in the item acquisition. And I think the only thing that, like, actually did that was I selected it. For the, the little Sheikah sensor thing. So, no idea. <laughs> no idea at all. It just, I went from nine, and I was just glancing through my, like, items. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what things I could potentially need. I don't know if anything actually needs razor shrooms, but we only have nine of them. Select, did a single story mission. I, it was an early story mission, too. It was the one where... Like, uh, Link was escorting Zelda for after doing a, just like a normal little, like, oh, I'm going to look at uh, some ancient technology, and we get ambushed by a bunch of monsters, and at the end, the, like, Blight champions, and uh, with just an extra, like, 15, 20% item drop rate, I got, like, 189 in a single go. <laughs> Similar thing was, uh, let's see, was the Hyrule Herb. I did the, I put it into the Sheikah sensor. I did a single, I did the first opening mission. I did the opening mission, the first mission in the game, and got 270 because we had zero. <laughs> Madness! But before we do any actual, like, side quests, because we're going to do the side quests... Uh, a decent amount, and maybe the EX missions. Primarily because I just want to do as much as we can before we actually go and presumably finish the story. Why the hell is... <laughs> Why is Hestu selected? That's weird. Well, let's just see. King Rome, special attack gauge plus one. With an eye to the climactic... I don't know why, my brain was just having trouble reading that first sentence. Bleh. <laughs> With an eye to the climactic battle ahead, King Rome plans to inspect the garrisons in each region, procure some gifts to make the occasion less somber for him and the troops. Although I had probably should go do the EX lab before I do everything, everything, just in case. The gifts brought some good cheer to King Rome and his soldiers. With their morale improved, the training went very well. They seemed ready to fend off a whole horde by themselves. I mean, will they actually be able to? You're here. Yeah. Magic champion. I think I'll go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that off because I don't really think. Oh, reveals the vicious monsters. That's not really an important thing. No idea what it means. Gain ability to remove hidden seals. But I did enough grinding, hopefully, that we should be able to do that. <clears throat> Mistakes! We all make them, and they are not so easily washed away. Ah, but what if that mistake was putting the wrong seal on a weapon? Perhaps that can be overcome. Can it? Because... I thought that was the entire thing of, like, uh, over here, I think? Or, like, one of them... One of these, I'm fairly certain. Huh. Because I'm fair, I thought there was like one. I guess maybe that wasn't a thing that we actually unlocked through here, but was something we actually got by playing the game. But we unlocked the ability to remove seals, so I don't know what remove hidden seals is, but sure, let's see. Fantastic! Success! We have devised a way to remove hidden seals. You are now free to customize any weapon you see fit. If only all mistakes could be so easily undone. Hmm, yes, if only. You are now able to remove hidden seals. Once a weapon has reached level 50, you can remove its hidden seal at the Hylian Blacksmith Guild. That's why we... I, I don't even have... I, I have like one level 20 weapon. 
I have one level 20 weapon. Yeah, and that got rid of... Oh, no, we've never been able to do you. And because I am more interested in leveling this area up, let us do a flail attack power. How do guardian arms move so freely? What is the secret of their flexibility? To find out, I must think like a guardian. Move like a guardian. Yes, quite. After living as a guardian for a day, I am no long I am no closer to understanding them. However, I have managed to deepen my understanding of their flexible limbs. So all is not a lost Yep, yep. And now two more have been accessed, which is flail attack power and not my like main goal. And this one is still oh you have to specifically specifically. We can do this one because it doesn't take a <laughs> Vicious monster select thing, of which we have five. Huzzah. So let's increase the master cycle of attack power just to see what these two... Well, that one probably will only unlock after we complete you, but we'll see what the next one is. The princess is in love with her new ride. Seeing her happy smile makes all of our efforts worthwhile. Maybe I'll work on powering up the master cycle even more for her. And I have just like a million high yield diddly -dees. The Master Cycle is a well-oiled machine now. The princess was polite and nonchalant, but I, she can't fool me. I could feel her excitement pouring off her in waves. Brilliant! And the Master Cycle is powered up. And let's see what this demands of me. Does not demand a lot. Obtain Master Cycle Hunter. What's the most important part of designing a vehicle? Safety? Trunk space? Nope! None of that. It's all about how fun it is to ride, of course. They have the idea. They have... Well, I guess technically they... I'm just trying to think because I'm getting hooked on trunk space. Because technically, I guess, they could be like, Oh, like a chest. It's a trunk in a house. But why would they think trunk space for a motorcycle? <laughs> Better not question it. Just relax. <laughs> Like an eagle soaring through the sky, the princess will know that true power is when riding this thing. Most of all, I hope she feels as free as the wind while she's on it. And now, Master Cycle Hunter. Oh, it's a bird! This upgrade version is even better suited for combat. Huzzah. And then the final upgrade is just more attack power. Do 15 Master Cycle perfect dodges. Hilarious. And then it's just complete question mark, question mark, question mark for these two, of which we should have everything we need for them, so it's all good and ready to go. Oh, and that unlocks more EX stuff for Zelda. Good, good. But first things first, discount in West Hyrule. That's going to take all my goddamn Hydra Melons again. The merchants from all over Hyrule are gathering to meet, some of them for the first time, and to exchange trade information. The host needs a few things first, so do what you can. Taking all my Hydra Melons. The host needed a few things to impress the guests, and with your help, they held a great gathering. Merchants exchanged vital trade information, and Hyrule will truly benefit from it. And then Ravali EX Enhanced Ability. Can't wait to see what this will be. The Art of Flight. Asked for flight tips by a Rito ally, Ravali wants to reflect on his past training and battles for use as guidance. Help him prepare with some useful items. It's going to take all of my sneaky river snails and sunset fireflies. Sadness. <laughs> I've outdone myself. With some help from the given items, Ravali finished his preparations. Thanks to his battle compali... For some reason, this word always trips me up. Compilation. Because my brain is like, is it compilation or just compilation? Thanks to his battle compilation, the Rito noted how easy it was to understand and implement Ravali's teachings. Press EX to firebomb arrows that explode after a time. Ah, it's just mid-air strong attack twice. Very nice. Obtain the Soaring Champion's Bow. That's gonna... I completely forgot about that. And it's gonna take vicious monster things too. A royal gift for Ravali. 
The royal family has asked the Hylian Blacksmith Guild to craft a weapon as a symbol of thanks for the Rito joining the fight against the Calamity. Help gather the materials. No idea why raw meat and bladed rhino beetles are required for a, a bow, but sure. This will do. The Hylian Blacksmith Guild completed their masterful work, which was gifted by the royal family to Rivali, champion of the Rito. With this, he will surely achieve even greater heights. And it comes pre-baked with an attack deleting. A weapon for battling the rising calamity, specifically crafted by order of the royal family. It's a masterpiece of a bow, as befits Ravali, master of the skies and warrior of the Rito. Oh yeah. No idea if it'll match my super duper duper, but maybe we can uh, put on attack speed onto that one instead. And now we're lacking... Oh, memory things for shift of swift bow. Ooh. So. Teba, or Teba. EX enhanced ability. I need to remember it's Taba. Aim true at the Calamity. In an effort to strengthen the Hyrulean Army's archery brigades, they must train with the Rito warriors. They'll be at the flight range for a good while, so they'll need lots of supplies. I have further to soar. New training equipment and reports of Rito mid-air battles were prepared. Taba also joined the training and mastered a new mid-air ability technique. Ah, to temporarily shorten your ZR charge time, that thing I never use for Taba. Master Cycle bonus combo. It's gonna take all my sizzle, sizzle fin trout. I'm probably not gonna use it that much, so probably not. And for bonus hearts, we're gonna prioritize, like, specific things. King Rome bonus hearts. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well get that out of the way, I suppose. All it takes is all half of my cursor be honey. Which, let's see. Do you have any new cursor be honey? Gib. A confectioner wants the best ingredients, which is why she usually sources them herself. She hates bees, however, and needs honey. Could you get some for her? Did she sort? <laughs> Obviously, she didn't source the pacoblin horn fang and guts herself. Beautiful. After a taste of the honey, the confectioner was struck by an inspiration and invented a recipe on the spot. In case you get a craving for sweets, she taught you how to make it too. Rupees plus 30%. And somehow that summons a Riju. Bonus combo. Magic cycle bonus combo. Sidon hearts. King Rome bonus combo. From the very moment he learned of the volunteer army, King Rome has been eager for a chance to train with the fledgling militia. Get some supplies to ensure his training is effective. I wield astounding might. Swinging his claymore with the soldiers, the king refined his two-handed sword technique. His majesty looked forward to forging a bright future together with the volunteer army. Nekluda level two. Let's see. New colors for the die shop. I guess I'll put that on because I can. Link bonus hearts. Bonus hearts. Side and bonus combo. The Lionel of Ploimus Mountain has been defeated, opening the way for the waterfall climbing workshop at Lulu Lake. Pick something up to prepare the students for their first climb. Again, I really like that some of these are actually, like, mini, like, storytelling things. The workshop was a huge success, with many of its attendees coming away as waterfall climbing plur... Well, I don't know why my brain wanted to put an L there. Bleh. Plows. Coming away as waterfall climbing pros. Sidon, inspired by the student's tenacity, redoubled his own training efforts. And Lanayru level three. That's a lot of big hardy radishes. Master cycle enhanced ability, maybe. Let's see. Hearts, hearts. Yonobu bonus combo. Yonobu knows he has to eat well to grow big and strong. 
This time around, he's thinking about eating a guardian. That might be a bit much, but maybe he could eat ancient materials instead. I mean, I guess they are kind of made of minerals. You know, Boo spent a few moments of peckish contemplation staring at the ancient materials before blurting out that they ought to go to research. He donated them to the ancient tech lab. You're never going to grow big and strong if you just give away all your meals, you know, Bo. You know, Boo. King Rome bonus combo. And pants! King Rome plans to push his body to its limit with a grueling climb to the summit of Mount Hylia. Because of the snowy weather at the mountain's peak, he'll need some materials to keep warm. What about this warm doublet? What fate grants me, I accept. Again, hilarious because you're the defier of prophecy, my dude. With bags full of cold weather supplies in tow, King Rome safely climbed to the summit of Mount Hylia. Surveying the kingdom from on high, he thought of a measure to keep his people safe. And the climbing boots. Never did find those, like, actually in-game. Well, the game wants me to do this one, which is Chief in Training. Hmm... Since that's Riju, and I'm not really going to use Riju much. But we can... Let's see. Master Koga bonus combo. And I'll save, like, all the bonus heart ones for later to really scrounge for. Master Koga is going to prove his toughness by taking on a test of willpower! Fasting. Of course he'll have to eat a big meal beforehand! The meatier, the better. Now I'm even more charming. No. Master Goga made it through his fast without a single slip-up. To celebrate, he treated himself to a sumptuous post-fast feast. Well, I guess good for you. Coliseum expert. Let's see. I guess I should go by the level diddly dees. Anti-flame training, definitely not Link. And I did indeed upgrade the Great Eagle Bow a bit. Let's see. If it's anti-flame training, let's... Who should I throw in there? Who should I... Let's go... Let's throw Mipha in there. Always put on experience. We'll basically try to do as many of the side quests, level people up, and then do the EX memories. And we'll see, we'll see. And I did do one of the other EX memory, like, uh, bonus missions in the Rivali Teba mission, which was save the, like, stranded Rito captain. I've yet to actually ba -ba -ba beat it with, uh, while keeping the one uh, guy above 50% health. I just have to get really good. Silly Igneo Talus. Like, if I really knock you down before I kill you, I might... Whoop. I guess I, like, pseudo-stunned it right as it hit the ground. I keep doing that by accident. Who needs to actually beat you normally when I can just stun-lock you to hell? Oh! <laughs> Random flurry rush. Get flurry rushed, idiot. Gotta dodge fast. We already got you down to, like, half health. I wonder if this will just nuke you. Almost. Get annihilated, idiot. I'll stun you to death with the best Mipha combo. Get bombed.
Goodbye, Ignotalus. Well, apparently something else is going to come out to play because uh, I can still attack. F oh, uh, fire Guardians spawned. I thought it said five Guardians. I guess technically isn't that crazy. I mean, is a badass. Oh. <laughs> I stunned you out of it anyway. Oh, you can attack through your friend? Illegal! Highly illegal! I shall drown the Guardian. I'll just kill your friend so I can deal with one. I will say, after doing a lot of, uh, like, vicious monster encounters, like, uh, they're slightly annoying past a certain point. Where the game is just like, and now we're going to summon, like, uh, a decent amount of enemies while this guy is just a tanky, 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 tanky tank. So sometimes you just get comboed by enemies, which is frustrating. It's just extra funny when you're like, oh, this one's like a level 40 vicious monster diddly D. Oh, surely I can do it. I go in. Oh, I forgot that these do this now. I completely forgot that the Blights are liable to show up in some of these. Now I kind of remember. They show up in the trainings. Got you. I need to remember that. <laughs> Don't worry. You're a fish. You can make water. Get smacked, idiot. Quit waving your hair around like that. Illegal. Your hair is illegal. Oh, um... I couldn't even see what the icon was. Very rude, going up against the wall like that. Should be able to defeat you in four minutes, dear Fire Blight. I flee from you, Water Blight Man. Ow. Now I freeze you and do full combos. That's the thing that like that actually gives like a a rune warning, but Lionel's doing something similar doesn't. It's slightly amusing to me. Quit hitting me with your hair. Illegal hair. Get bombed. Okay, I guess bombing you is the best way to get your weak point down. You just died from that. Not literally, sadly. I got flurry rush by accident. Get hit, idiot. Your annihilation comes for you, fire blight. With your, like, crazy hair. Oh, that's the wrong thing entirely. You're going for a different thing. I just heard the rune thing and thought you were going to do your normal thing that you've done twice now. Instead, you decided, oh, I'm going to do something different. I'm just very rude. Very rude indeed. I'm waiting for it to, like, ah, there we go. Give me an opening to break it. So I can then use my special attack to try and weaken it a bit more, maybe. You're in a corner, Fire Blight. You'll never escape. 
that hit a lot. Might as well eat an apple. Aha, flurry rush time. Become water. Interesting, I wonder if her special attack heals her or something. That seems to be thing. Oh, I almost had you. I almost had you. I smack you. Goodbye, water blight. Or not water blight, it's fire blight. I am the water blight for you. I am the blight of the blight. Also, if this is training, who the hell is summoning fire blight for training? I feel like that's kind of insane training to be like, ah, yes, we will summon a great evil for training purposes. Like, unless we get Aster on our side, which I highly doubt, we're not, we're not going to do that. And plus, that also requires uh, multiple human sacrifices, which I don't see anybody doing. Unless we can just, like, sacrifice other, like, monsters to it. Like, maybe that could be a thing. You gather up enough bacoblins and you... Oh, anti-flame and ice training. That's cool. Anti-lightning training, which will lead to the one, the only lightning blight coming out to play. Who should we throw in there? I'm trying to think. You know, it's been a while since we played Daruk. Well, and I guess before, before we go in, I want to see... Since there's like a yeah. specific dishes that I make a lot of, mm. should probably mm. keep a stock of eggs, mm. sugar, and the butter, mm. just so I can. And I think I said it was down here. Anti-lightning training. Let's go, Daruk. Let's try and take down all these. Sad questions. I can believe kind of forget that guarding is a thing. Mostly because I'm just like, ah, why guard when I can just attack? Because, like, most of the time it's more beneficial to try and dodge and get a. Wish you would a flurry rush after it rather than. Just sit down and take it. Stasis. Only downside to Daruk. Cannot. Daruk, the fearless Goron champion. Hey, that's me. That's an interesting AOE attack thing. Very rude, though. Here to take your legs. I guess Daruk would make sense to be the, like, ultimate guarding one. That's kind of cool. I've never guarded with Daruk. That's hilarious. Back in the face. I'm gonna trap you in here with me, Guardian. Now, like the other Guardian's gonna spawn in because I beat your ass too hard. That's cool, that that's actually a gimmick of Daruk's. Oh, yeah. 
that that came online at the perfect time. Wait, I am going to hold on to all of my special attacks for uh, Thunder Blight. Yeah, keep stun locking them. You think you can just blast me? Lose your legs. Fear for your life. You city guardian. And explode. Ah, oh, you survived. How cute. Oh, yeah. He just beat you to death. And who's gonna spawn next? Ah, an electric Lionel. Again, why does he go so far? It's just so comical that he just flies through the air like a beautiful bird. Again, just comical how just high he goes compared to anybody else. Well, that's rude. Quit doing that one. It's hard to combo into. Ran me over. Well, so why would electricity even work on Daruk? He's a... Uh, he's rocks. I guess all the electricity in this world works on Pikachu rules. Even rocks and ground can be electrocuted. Oh, that's just auto aim on lightning illegal. Now I beat you up. You're even. I just really like doing that one, huh? Now you're on my rock. That's rude. How oh, very rude. I was in the air. Lightning can't do things to things in the air. Thank you, Mr. Sensor. Hopefully this will kill you. Explode. I dare you have a little bit of health left. Even more illegal than all the other things you've ever done in your life. Guess I need to eat an apple. Now, Thunderblight. How dare you hit me? I couldn't even look at you. Ah, fool. I have Daruk's guardianship. I guess one bonus to using Daruk is I never really incentivized to do my normal combo of, like, freeze them with uh, stasis and really go after them. Which means I can just use all the runes as they're meant to be used against the <laughs> big old boss enemies. Get bombed. Well, that's very rude. I shall do this to you immediately. No clones. Or maybe, yes, clones. I 
fly away from you. Throw a rock in your face. To remind you of your place. Oh, I guess that kind of makes sense here, yeah, because we use Magnesis against you in your actual fight. That's a cool thing. I like neat design like that. I feel like you went from being stunned to immediately going on the offensive. You are an angry, angry blight. One downside to using Daruk is maybe... A uh, fast Thunder Blight would uh, blitz the Rockman a little bit. Ever so slightly. Let's see if this finishes you off. Almost. <laughs> one HP. <laughs> Score one for the Great Daruk. I'm gonna guess like the last one is gonna be like then lightning and I'm trying to think what the other one because it's ice and fire training maybe it'll just be different combos of the trainings then because I don't think there's a fourth one right well I guess for the blights there is but for like the elemental rods there isn't because there's Thunder Blight, Wind Blight. So yeah, maybe Wind and Electricity. Anti-Ice and Lightning Training. Or it could just be like combos of everything. Two-handed bonus combo, but we only use the main, main thing. Zelda's Culinary Research, which is high, high level. Again, should probably do these. Next is Fleeing the Weather. The pounding rain has made it challenging to navigate the forest, but it's crucial to find an exit swiftly. This forest is thick with monsters, and it's time limited. With a recommended level of 41, so pretty much everyone should be fine going through here. Trying to think of who I should use. Definitely not Link or Ravali, because they're already super buffed up. Maybe Teba. Let's do Teba. We haven't used like Teba in a bit. Let's go. And show them what we're made of. As we flee the uh, treacherous forest of doom. Although it, it is kind of funny how there's three whiz robes, fire, ice, and lightning, and uh, there's no wind whiz robe. Wind blight is left out of the elements. Did that many attacks? They actually do something, Moblin Man. Again, could have sworn I only did a three combo. <laughs> you can't hit me in the air. Fool what you are. You can't hit me while in the air. I'll just flurry rush you to death. Excellent. Come on we go. Can't move. <laughs> can't move, he says, as he continues to move. And 
me. So it's gonna be monsters chasing after me. Now, no weird attacks. Electricity Lizalfos. No weird attacks. As I just come here to wipe you all out. With my basic combo. moment there I thought this was a like a oh, Jesus Christ that's the most choose I've ever seen <laughs> he says what because he just watches all of the choose explode I'll just take you out because I can How dare you hit me out of the sky much illegal And then I'll just explode this normal moblin. Although you are taking a decent amount of damage. Somehow I'm hitting you from behind. The power of Rito magic, I guess. Oh, that's why. They just perpetually spawn moblins after you. You're like the only Octorok here. Get out. Ah, uh, there's gonna be a boss here, and I didn't save any of my special attacks. I should have known. Playtime's over. Now I'll show you what I'm really made of. reason the Electro one is special and doesn't get like just specifically with the rune. All the other body slams specifically call for uh, the stasis rune. This guy, he just bypasses it. Oh, kind of neat. He's kind of uh, summoning the like charge with uh by slamming the ground and i'm just doing terrible my strong attacks i will annihilate you oh, yeah, the other <laughs> the moblin finally caught up to me you spent all this time chasing me where'd you go did you just despawn? Or did I knock you over? Yeah, the moblin just despawned. That's hilarious. It's like that one meme. Where he just like pieces out, disappears. See that? So the goal right now is to try and play. Like, my various bonus characters. I should, like, take a look at the mission. Because I assume it's going to be the last mission. Of, like, the main story, and then, like, the DLC will take over. Earn recipe for Dia Hot Pot. Let's see. It is select whoever I want, so technically I'm not in a bad position. Oh, I should read. Need to read. Travelers praise the local dishes from Dea Village, which are made with fish from the lake's pure waters. Its villagers will teach you a recipe if you bring them the ingredients they need. You did well. The villagers appreciated your help and taught you how to make one of their prized dishes. The secret is truly fresh caught from the Dea Lake fish. The hot, put, uh, hot pot dish is perfect for a feast. Special attack charge rate plus 12%. Very nice. I guess we could do uh, Zelda's training bows, since it's quick and easy, specifically calls for her. No need to think like, oh no, who do I choose? So 
I forget what her special is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I think in luminous mode, I can click any different button and get a different attack. Yeah, to switch Zelda to luminescent form. Yeah, because I think it was in luminescent form pressing different combos does things. Oh. I've been entrusted with the outcome of this battle. I will prevail. Let me see. It is... ZL plus B, ZL plus X, and ZL plus Y. So I guess it's more just like... So it's kind of interesting, but it's, it also takes... Uh, Special attack meter, it seems. Which is very cool. Prepare for your doom, the goblins. down. Ooh, <laughs> more have appeared. You know what, I'll just do this. Explode. <laughs> I exert my will. That you do. Let's go this way and beat up like the boss that's here. A silver moblin. Freeze, you freak. Zelda's become a lot more nimble now that she's awake in her powers, which is kind of funny. With wisdom comes amazing agility. Get blasted, Silver Moblin! Uh, since I attacked one, the other one decided he wanted to come play. I'll blast you, because I can. comes for you. I probably should have been focusing just on wiping out these guys. There's just so much shining bright light just blasting every which way. Just dodge into the middle of a bunch of enemies. Spam arrows all over the place. <laughs> For Hyrule. I just rain giant arrows of light from the sky. Get over there. More enemies. Just come to me. And I leveled up her, like, main bow as well. So maybe my combos just aren't that good. Prepare for oblivion. 
Okay, summon more. Put them all into a ball prison. And let them explode. Come on. I guess the hit detection on that one is a little funky. But sometimes groups of enemies, just on any character, just decide, hmm, I, uh, just, I don't think I would be hit by this combo. Which is kind of funny. Right, here's a nice selection of enemies. Prepare for oblivion. Ooh, Silver Lazalfos have spawned in. Luckily, I am just over halfway. So it shouldn't be too bad. Silly Lizalvos, you will not live. Against kind of tankier enemies, it doesn't feel as devastating. Luminescent form. Maybe I just need to throw the orbs more. For the power of orbs, I kill you. <laughs> the way that that one Bacoblin died just get by getting hit by a random dust speck almost makes it feel like Pocket Sand has killed someone. Pocket Sand! They just fall over dead without a sound. Probably shouldn't have gone after that silver moblin. Like maybe as a later into the match kind of thing. Hello, Silver Lizalfos, I've come to murder you all. I think this is the highest like amount of KOs I've needed to get from a single mission. One thousand. Not counting the <laughs> the Divine Beast missions, where they're like, yes, kill multiple thousand enemies, because, like, no duh. Hello, Lizarfos. I'm here to kill you with balls. Magical balls of doom. She's still wearing her, like, oh, please, let me awaken my ceiling power outfit. Which is kind of funny. And I shall blast you with even more magical light. I do not fear you, Silver Moblin. I will just kill you. Oh, there's some over here I can kill. Some singular fools who must die to pocket sand. But most enemies are over here, it seems. Maybe. I feel like the group up indicator of like monsters that you should kill is sometimes a little misleading. But this time, or at least this section, seems to be good. Come to me, Lizolfos. I have to hunt them down at this stage. Yes, come to me so I can obliterate you all by stopping time and killing you. Lizolfos. Come fight me. Gather up and die for me. Oh, 
Oh. How the hell did I do that one? I'm just going to use my special attacks as a nuke. So we just need to kill eight enemies. Goodbye. Zelda murdered so good, she almost ran out of people to kill to hit her quota. And I still just get the basic 200 rupees for it. But we got more topaz. No idea if the topaz and stuff will actually be useful. I have like eight diamonds. And I've already sold a bunch of sapphire just to quickly recuperate money for more, like, weapon fusing. Huh. If we wanted to. I mean, I'll, I'll actually use them, but sure, why not? The dye merchant is seeking materials for creating new colors. It seems that he wants something pale that would blend with other colors. There you go, sure, fine, whatever. The dye merchant was able to mix colors to create many new special ones. There should be a new selection of colors to stock now. That's worth a visit. I guess we got light blue. On the color list now. Got some stuff being sold. The warm Safina. Let's see. Master Cyclone has stability. The Great Fairies. I guess I should come up here and select that, but I think that's just like, hey, do these. So it's not like something we can doodly doodly do. Our bonus hearts. Let's see. King's Escort. Pro and Robbie's Studies. Defend the Thing of Courage. Again, I should just come do these. Forest Dance Festival. It seems that Hestu has been struck with the competitive spirit and will be holding a dance festival. Defeat the other contestants to emerge victorious. Which apparently is going to be Urbosa and Hestu. Trying to think who to use. Because I guess for like my main team for the final one, it's going to be like Link, Ravali, Tiba, and somebody else. I mean, I guess we could do King Rome. King Rome's pretty fun. I will fulfill my duty. King Rome is a fun time. Let's see how he does on the dance floor of murder. We will see his skill unfold. I do, I do find it funny that he does have the hermit guys, even though he hasn't used it in story like at all. But it is, like, his main iconic thing, being the hermit. Surprise, I'm the king. Shiki shikila! I declare our dance-off begun! Okay, everybody, time to cut loose and show the world your best moves! Dance your heart out. Which means violence. What is the meaning of this? How dare you hit me? Much illegal.
<laughs> I shall now stab you. <laughs> Such fancy moves. <laughs> Such magnificent violence. Very rude. I'm trying to heavy attacks. Maybe I should do the... So it seems that, like, his special thing with stasis is, like, powering up an attack and then letting it loose. <laughs> Explode, Zora Man. I'm Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo. You can actually kick me out of my guys chain. I almost find it funny that, like, an axe is more, like, speedy than a claymore. I now stab you. One cannot help but smile. How am I going to have to fight Hestu now? <laughs> You know, you could do it. Your final opponent is me. You will suffer for your crimes, Hestu. <laughs> Shuko, I lost. That makes you the champion. Happy, 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 happy me. King Rome wins the dance festival, which was more just violence festival. is still funny to me. I like how his, like, battle, like, commencement dialogue was, what's the meaning of this? Almost like King Rome had uh, no idea what any of this even is. He just stumbled into it. And thus violence must begin. And that is weapon capacity plus three. <laughs> that completely got drowned out by the ancient lab. Completely and utterly. Hmm. I think really... Let's see. Yeah, because King Rome's actually pretty fun. Hmm, well, actually, I should probably level up the characters that I'm going to use in the like, memories, the EX missions, which should probably power level you to make that happen. So let's see, because we have EX mission, battle for Kakriko Village, which is the Gorons, battle for Kaponga Village, and it's 44... 44 and 44. Hmm. Liberate the ancient lab. The main quest being defeat a thousand or more enemies, obtain four wild berries, and then an unknown. Can we start eating already? <laughs> Urbosa is impatient when it comes to food, it seems. Let's go into memory with narrator Pura and Rabi. In the midst of the calamity, the royal ancient lab was captured by monsters, and the researchers were forced to flee. Urbosa and Riju bravely led troops to the lab in order to liberate it. I even got her name wrong. I've been calling her Riju this entire time when it is Riju. Riju. 
facing monsters armed with weapons stolen from the lab. Oh, that's kind of scary. The most elite Gerudo warriors advanced into the breach of demise. But there was more than just a monster horde lying in wait for them. I wonder what was waiting for them then. We'll have to see. A facility dedicated to the research of ancient relics. Many Sheikah work here in search for ways to resist Calamity Ganon. We must finish these monsters quickly and free the, the royal ancient lab. Hmm, constraint's a big thing. Probably split everyone up. It seems the defense force is under pressure too. Lady Orbosa, let's rendezvous with them first. Oh, but we need to also be on the lookout for wall berries. Attacking when Robbie and Pearl are away. What under what underhanded tactics? Indeed, the researchers are all evacuated, so all that's left for us is to drive these monsters off. Hmm. I'll definitely uh, do lots of walking around the various places and exploration. Just in case. Because it is defeat a thousand enemies and get four wild berries, I do believe. I wonder, can I took I can look here. Obtain four wild berries, of which I think I already got one. And there's the other wild berry. They're actually coming quite quick. Oh, hey. Open up. I found you. I forget if I've, like, discovered that before. Like, buried treasure chests. Be annihilated. Destroy all boxes for wild berry potential. Doesn't look like there were any there, but still. In all actuality, I'll actually send Riju there so I can actually use her more thoroughly to clear out enemies and stuff. Although it is go aid some Hylian captains. So maybe I should be rushing a little bit, but ah, they can survive. Lady Oposo, with you by our side, we can win with ease. I won't even need to do that, because you're so weak. I want to destroy as many enemies as possible for that. Because if I can get, like, the wild berries and then the a thousand enemies defeated thing, that'll very much simplify things. Then I can worry about the question mark, question mark, question mark, hidden one. for replays. I don't fear you, Blizzrobe. I don't know what you did to activate that. <laughs> to immediately just open up your weak point. <laughs> well, that's weird. Something just hit me. Might have just been a problem that got lucky timing. Destroy these enemies, Patricia. Silly 
for Coblins. I don't fear you and your air horn. Just accidentally bullet timed into the enemy and caused them to explode. Now you might actually be a bit scary because I'm not good with read you now if I get more flurry rushes maybe get smacked idiot oh, that opens the gate here and blast them with my special ability. Fear me, Moblin. There's no mercy for you. Get stasis, idiot. I find it funny that, like, moblins without weapons, they're just normal attacks, will just automatically open their weak point. You're from the Gerudo tribe. What a relief. Replay the, we'll repay this debt. I swear it. You can stay there. <laughs> Apparently... Kind of interesting. He's just staying there. So just... Yeah, I'm just gonna do this because I do not like you, Mr. Silver Fly Fly. Oh, you're not even silver. You're... I've only ever seen the Fly Fly be a silver moblin. Oh! Never done that combo before. Right. Oh, well... We'll show you just how strong we are. Everyone, don't fall behind the Gerudo. With the power of competition, we'll get everyone to fight. Uh, further in, we have allies who push the attack that far. Oh, did we have allies? I misread that. I guess I'll send you to go after that Medio. The number of monsters is still increasing. Rescue our highest priority right now. We'll hold the monsters off, Lady Obosa. Head to where the isolated forces are. <sighs> They'd go so far as to brave mortal danger just to try and help us. I need to use that combo more. So that's good. Get super comboed. I wonder if we picked that one up from Thunder Blight. <laughs> Go ahead and get capture this one down here because I can. Get blasted. That's just such a cool move. I really, really like it. Oh, wrong thing. Darn. I saw kind of yellow and assumed. You just know how to throw a hammer. Now, yeah, like I have three, I can do this. <laughs> she doesn't even need the Thunder Helm. Speed this up. There we go. Maybe this will kill you. 
as just all the Gerudo just curb stomp a Medio Wizrobe. The visual is amusing. Hello, singular, but Coblin, who is just be annihilated. Oh, yeah, because this is before you <laughs> joined us. Yes, this is exactly the situation we wanted. <laughs> what is the Yiga clan doing here? Doing Yiga things. the Yiga clan to appear at a time like this. This may have been their aim from the start. Regardless, we must drive them back now. I don't fear you, Blade Master. I definitely sent the wrong character this way, though. Fighting Koga with Riju is gonna be a little hard. This failure of mine not seen through their trap. Let's strike them down and repay this debt. From Green Master Koga against a little kid, this will be child's play. Now this makes me wonder if there's like Dialogue for mirror matches. Like if we tried and used Master Koga against himself, what his reaction would be. <laughs> Slam yourself into an ice block. You fool. As he can send. There, check things out. Ooh. You tried and you failed. Koga. I don't know it. <laughs> I guess you're trying to freeze or daze me, but you failed. I will slam you with your own big ball. Kicked in the face, Koga. Ah, Flurry Rush, hell yeah. You will not. You will be slammed by your own big ball. Fool of a man. Get continuously beat it up. <laughs> I will beat you in this doorway for all eternity, Koga man. Get blown up by the power of electricity. Hilarious, because that's the thing you just keep trying to steal. Imagine all the Yiga clansmen just standing around seeing this happen. Find something. Ah, he summoned allies. No, whatever it is that you're doing. Get stasis instead. Kind of rude. Not giving me a lot of time to recuperate my runes. Although I guess it kind of makes sense for a lot of his attacks to be rune-based. 
because they're like I guess techniques derived from the Sheikah runes, so it does make sense. Oh, defeat Master Coco for each you. That was a secret. Uh, that's a lot more monsters than I expected. Well, that's that. We'll try again another time. Hmm. Let's see. We're two of four wild berries. And the plan will probably be defeat those two monsters. Because I want you to come up there. I'm glad we were able to drive off the Eager Clan, but the monsters will not stop swarming. They're attacking from all sides. We'll split up and meet their attack with our own. Yeah, defeat the monsters threatening the oil tech lab. But there's a lot of them. There's like no boxes I'm missing down here. Well, I don't care. Not here to deal with you. And they're all just converging. There's a ton of monsters that way. We'll go with you. <laughs> Reliable, aren't they? We'll take this with electricity. My electricity is more powerful than yours. Gotta destroy all the boxes <laughs> for potential important things. Could be any singular box. Could be any of them. Probably, I'll definitely uh, traverse with Riju above the, like the across the top part of the map, looking for any potential boxes. I wonder why specifically it is find the wild berries as a mission. Saving my special attacks for the inevitable boss that's gonna be like popping up in here. <laughs> I like that she just jumps onto the bomb with a shield. And now, Thunderhelm time! Stasis you to try and kill you as fast as possible. Save the allies, and then maybe they can at the very least stay safe. 
Maybe go do things. All right. Don't know if there's anything in here, but kill the enemies. They're just chilling in a building. I decide, you know what? They shall not chill in a building. Take all these enemies down, Patricia. Use your great seal might to scare them into hell. Even if I suck at playing as you. Use your seal might for great destruction. Hmm. My brain was like stalling there for a moment thinking, it was like, hmm, are there any kind of seal puns about great destruction? can become hard to control the rage builds up on speed if only I could force them all off the cliff that'd be hilarious what could we take out this place because it has boxes which means potential that's not what I wanted to do at all, game. I wanted to dodge. Why is it whenever I want to jump off a place, you make it extremely hard, but whenever I want to stay on, you're like, no. G there are railings, game. You don't let me normally jump over railings. That's so fucking annoying. I just want to reset my combo. It's all I want to do. Well, that's not... I for some reason, my brain was like, oh, yes, activate the chest by pressing A. That didn't even open it. Now, let's see. I guess she can go back there. I shall just annihilate you while I go across and do everything. And we'll probably head back down and seek to find any potential boxes that I might have missed by autoing my people around. For some reason, my brain went it would be neat if Urbosa could just, like, siphon the, like, Thunder Wizrobe magic into her, like, special electricity meter. If there was, like, excess, I think that would be neat. I don't see any boxes I missed this way. Go ahead and destroy this little meandering minion party. Clear out this side, and then go beat up all the monsters. Considering that this place is open, open, I can only assume that they don't really care for us being here. Like, this isn't a, oh, come back later, additional things. Ah, there, the wild berries. And then the last one's just defeat a bunch of enemies. I'll send you up. I'll still clear out this place, because I can. Still such a cool combo. Are you prepared for death? Fools! Annihilate the freaky little monsters. I have a full thing. Go ahead and do it. No mercy for you. Prepare to die. Ah, oh, you barely survived. Good for you. Get 
Get out of here. Give me all mighty porkies. Again, my mind for some reason jumps to like the hilarious potential of Breath of the Wild, Age of Calamity being like a less serious, more funny aha Saturday morning cartoon with like the incompetent Master Koga interpreting the will of Ganon and like maneuvering the monsters around. I just think it'd be a potential thing. All right. <laughs> this place being empty terrifies me for some reason. Are those three guardians going to wake up? I don't know when in the timeline this is. Because, no, because uh, Aster pretty much betrayed the Yiga clan when the calamity happened. So I can only assume that this is like a decently like a, a ways away timeline wise and now we'll just go down with Riju and Beat up the monsters. Goodbye, Electro Chews. And that's all three on this one. The very first time that all of them are done in one go for me. And I guess Riju, you can follow her Prosa from now on. And we'll just destroy all the monsters one by one. If I was better at controlling Riju, I would like actually use her to split the forces but I am not good with Riju I guess we're going after the Lionel next although props to these guys and Gerudo's for holding off this swarm of monsters this entire time. Darn. <laughs> I heard the rune thing and interpreted it too slow. Although that really shouldn't do much to you since you are an electric Lionel, but still. Whoop! Ah, <laughs> flurry rush time! Get bullied, Lionel. Get bullied. I'll just freeze you so I can do more combos on you. Oh, that almost broke your entire thing. Whoop. Would not help me at all. I know what, I'll just bomb you. And now I shall utterly annihilate you with electricity. And I think that was the scariest monster they had, at least out of these monsters. You deserve no mercy. Just utter annihilation for you. Monsters have appeared. They're still coming. Ha! <laughs> All the better. Send as many as you like. Oh, now we need to defeat nine of them. Now oh, that'll work for me. This will just get some exercise for Herbosa. Oh, is that another Lionel? 
It's a nice Lionel. <laughs> to decide to spin through the wind. It's still such a funny looking move to me. I didn't do my best combo, but I still destroyed it. Haha! <laughs> Take that, Lionel. I shall throw you into a corner. Corner of the Lionel. Beat him up. Beat up the Lionel in the corner. It even put itself back in the corner. It knows where it belongs. I hate <laughs> Herbosa's Cryonis. It's just so hard to... Especially because she's, like, actually a up-close-and-personal fighter. So actually, getting it to work is hard. Because it spawns, like, behind the enemy when we use it. kind of clunky go around for any of the locations. Go this way to try and get to that guy. Now I wonder if there... Now my brain went to... I wonder what it would be like if there was like a Legend of Zelda real-time strategy game. I think there's like a mod or two for various like super war games out there. It could be interesting, especially like Age of Calamity, but war. But a real time strategy war game. Hello, Silver. Moblins, I shall obliterate you. not last long. You have equipped yourself with mighty magics. Give me strength isn't waning, but we will not retreat. Not now, not ever. Well, I guess I can go this way around. Cut them off, defeat these guys, loop around to where the other ones are and where they're presumably going to meet up with their friends. Guards we left to guard <laughs> the, like, armory of these ancient weapons. Just not doing a good job. From YouTube chat? My goodness, you're doing a good job. Thank you. Okay. It's a really, really fun game. The way the Gerudo tribe fights is as amazing as the stories say. Uh -huh. Your soldiers performed well. Care to join us for training when we get back? <laughs> yes, we'd be delighted. That's one more reason to get out of here safely. I also do like the... Like, little dialogue boxes in the missions. Even if it is a little difficult... To, like, split my attention... <laughs> risk getting utterly... Slapped. A wrong thing. We jump from here! Hello, Silver Moblin. I'm here to annihilate you. And let's do our combo of death. I'm surprised that I'm doing so well with Herbosa, because... Never really, like, put much time into playing her, but this final combo that I unlocked... It's so good. So very nice. Go ahead and do that, because we can. And blast. This should be the last one, I think. 
bye bye, Silver Moblin, unless like a final thing comes out. Of which, yep, there is more. There is always more. I think that was the last of them. Now, one last push of the last of them. Obviously not, we're still playing. Yes, Lady Urbosa, there's no enemy that can stand against our might. I'll go ahead and just tell you to go beat them up. <laughs> Never played Zelda, but by the look of it, it looks like fun and you're doing amazing. The YouTubers uh, play it just uh, not this good usually. When I see other YouTubers playing, they usually die. I don't know if I've died yet, but I've come close. Sometimes you just really need to just down the apples. And plus also I kind of like grinding, like, ooh, I want to get the resources, I want to get the upgrades. You know what, come to think of it, I haven't actually looked up and watched other people play this game yet. That would be interesting. Because I can understand, because uh, probably a lot of the people that would go from playing... Like, a lot of the people that would want to play Age of Calamity probably would go from uh, Breath of the Wild, so their gameplay skills might not be, like, uh, attuned for a Dynasty Warriors-type game. Which could be understandable why they might not be as good at it. But still, I don't play on the higher levels, though. I like to stick to the, the normal. Because I don't like bullet spongy enemies. Bullet spongy enemies, uh, nah. Not a good I don't like. Oh, of course, of course! I knew it! I knew that the Guardians would awaken! Knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I came up here once, I saw them, I like, oh, <laughs> you're gonna be, aren't you? And they are! What bomb? Oh, I just missed my combo there. Whoop. Oh, I didn't even freeze the one that wanted to freeze. Go ahead and smack you. I did miss some dialogue there, but oh well. Guardians are scary. And now they're all awake. Hey, uh, Guardian, uh, care to die? Thank you. Oh, they're both targeting me. What fun. I, I deflected one. I'll take it. <laughs> I was being targeted like a triangle. Shock this guardian to death. And now, shock this other guardian to death. But more AoE style. The monsters are retreating. You were able to rescue the lab. Right. Yes, all thanks to everyone's cooperation. The Hyrulean soldiers fought hard for us. So I guess uh, this was after the malice started taking over because the Guardians did come to beat us up. But then that doesn't really explain why Koga was fighting along the Calamity. And I forget. Hmm. Well, we probably get a decent amount of memory bonuses. A 60 damage scimitar at the 7, you say? I'll take that. <laughs> and a 60 damage bridal of the 7, you say? I'll take that. <laughs> and a 60 damage thing for Impa, you say? I will also take that. And also 30 hydromelon. I was running low. Oh, cutscene time. I completely forgot. Yeah, we get cutscenes with these. <laughs> You've really gotten the hang of that helm, haven't you? As the chief, it's my responsibility to... An opening! <laughs> but, really? <laughs> That's not gonna help you. That's not even your head. Oh. You're not wearing it right, idiot. <laughs> Silly Koga. Hundred years or more before you could wield this helm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Even if it does take a hundred years, it will be mine. Just you wait. 
And in another timeline, he's technically correct. <laughs> he does steal it. <laughs> that one's kind of fun. It kind of makes sense since the Yiga and the Gerudo do have like a rivalry. So far, out of the two I've done, I think I prefer Ravali's EX mission because it has Tulin and Taba. It's just very, very nice. Oh yeah, I forgot that unlocks the EX do extra things. Completely forgot. And now, Swift Bow for Taba. A royal gift for Taba. The royal family has asked the Hylian Blacksmith Guild to craft a weapon as t a gift to Taba, who traveled from a hundred years in the future to stop the calamity. Help gather the materials. And I'll take all of my vicious monster reports. But I do like playing Taba, so give him the hero's bow. The Hylian Blacksmith Guild completed their masterful work, which was gifted by the royal family to Taba, heroic warrior of the Rito. With this, he will surely achieve even greater heights. That's nice. Let's see, enhanced Urbosa ability. The Hyrulean army and the Gerudo warriors wish to interact more, but men are not allowed in Gerudo town. Urbosa has devised a plan, but requests help with some necessary materials. Still oh, 15 topaz, thank god I didn't sell them. Dear god. Are you gonna sneak all the Hylian army in? <laughs> Using huge amounts of materials, they were able to temporarily use pavilions and markets to mingle. While they all learned by reflecting on past battles, Urbosa was able to devise a new skill. Huh. Neat. Leave that one there. Let's see. Come up here to buy the warm sapphina. Because now we can get bonus hearts for Yonobu if we want. Let's see. There's Zelda's culinary research. Or Purun Rabi study. I think this one, because this gives us, like, additional stuffy stuff. Oh, but first, first, probably. It, it wants me to level up the people, which I probably should. If I also go and sell things. Well, let me see. <laughs> I could level this up to level 18 and 87 damage if I wanted to sacrifice the great eagle bow I've been investing in. That is kind of hilarious. Now let's see. So this is going to be attack speed. Oh, that. Have to undo. Let's see. Have to get used to the emblem system. Ah, more attack speed. And fuse! More speed and damage. Because I would like to use this in like the final, final battle battles. Let me just double check to make sure I don't overwrite anything super good. Guess you can take that. Mm -hmm. Almost gets it to the next emblem. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we should probably get along with doing these EX things since they actually unlock stuff, which are very, very good and important. But it's also interesting that it unlocked a EX for Monk Maz, who wants all of my Henox guts. I shall save that because I don't really use Monk Maz all that much. I guess we'll do the 
you know about bonus combo. Always get bonus combos because they can do good things. To toughen himself up, you know, Bo is going to do the most intense training he can think of. Eat stuff that will heat him up and then climb onto a burning heat slab. Get him food with warming properties. Is he going to not do this one as well? I'm getting stronger all Heating the, time. the body inside and out. Talk about a trial by fire. After the training was complete, Yunobo was awarded his own gutsiness by chomping down the slab where he had grilled himself. Like, yeah, I guess that would actually be a thing that a Goron could do. In honor of that, let's throw him in. Oh! I keep forgetting that, like, actual story missions don't have descriptions. Let's see. Don't allow monsters to break into Kakariko Village outposts. Aid the overextended Hylian captain. And question mark, question mark, question mark. As always, we go bonus experience. What a treat. I feel the same. And let's see, because let's swap out with Teba. Because I want Teba in there. And of course, we'll use my leveled up falcon bow with him. Let's go. So basically, don't let any monsters into the outposts. Save the overextended captain. Daruk and Yunobo boarded Divine Beast I think we can do that. Rudania together and drove up a great Rudania, not Rudania. from Eastern Hyrule. I, I just can't pronounce anything in Breath of the Wild. All of the, all of the words are just slightly off. It's not Teba or Teba. It's Teba. It's not Re, uh, Reju. It's Reju. It's not. Rudania, it's Rudania. There's nothing that I say properly. They attempted to rendezvous with the other champions, but along the way, they caught sight of a horde of monsters bearing down on Kakariko Village. Okay, that one I'm going to stand by. It's Kakariko Village, not Kakariko Village or whatever you said. You said a weird thing. It's Kakariko the Village. And Yunobo. One is pilot of the Divine Beast, and one is protector of the people on the ground. Joined forces in the battle to save Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. It's Kakariko Village. Yunobo. Okay, want you to move up. Let's see. Ah, so he's actually up there, okay. I'll be Rudania fighting and giving orders. I'm leaving th th uh, down there for you. Understood. I'll stop the monsters attacking the village. Thank you, we rushed here when we heard about the monsters, but we had a rough fight on our own. You did it, Yunobo. You'll be nipping at my heels in no time. Some folks are stranded in the fields. Go help them. Couldn't read what Yunobu said there. Gotta take out these enemies quick. Oh, it's full of monsters! The villagers were able to evacuate, so that's good. You know, I'll just do this quickly. That did the trick. Move we'll up ahead a little bit. The roof. I'm on. Keep forgetting that Daruk is not a really good, uh, like, a character to use the thing for my stasis combo. Then. 
first things first, I'm gonna go up here, because could have things. Wave clear, wave clear, wave clear! So obviously enemies are going to spawn here later. Gotcha. Yeah, you head back. Darn you. Yeah, get knocked down. And then you do things to me. And I flurry rush you. <laughs> no, you're not, you know, boo. This is the bad guy. We did it. Definitely go fast. Tava. No time to lose. Huh? More monsters? No matter how many I beat, there's no end to them. Mega clan chumps in a place like this. Maybe they're the ones calling the monsters. That did the trick. Hang on, I'll squash them with Rudania. Getting in my way, huh? One of the things is to not let anybody in. Very rude. Medio. God, you're annoying. Stop, game. <laughs> Quit comboing me, Wizro man. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'll do that instead. Keep forgetting that leveled up whiz robes have different rune weaknesses. And then that just leaves Daruk fighting the last one. Send you back up there. No time to lose. On route. Maybe I can't get to him with Taba. Because Daruk did say, like, oh, I'll take care of him, smash him with Rudania. And Daruk is sturdy enough to... Oh, maybe I could uh, jump down on him from up here. Ah. Or maybe not. It's kind of related, but it is very much closer to Rudania. But now I will go all the way with each of the characters to see if there's anything to do. I'm trying to think. It was, don't let anybody in. Maybe make an enemy of the, the great fairy. Come on. Come on. Kind of interesting. Wave clear, wave clear, wave clear. Let me go again and look. It is oh, aid to the overextended Hylian captain. Don't let anyone in. And then a mystery. Oh, 
play to this fort, take it for my own. Who knows, maybe that'll be the mystery objective. Still don't know what the very first to Zelda side EX mystery, like, mission was, though. That one was not revealed to me. Actually, I don't think I need to do my... Oh, oh, that did work. Good. <laughs> it just took a bit for the Magnesis to steal his weapon from him. Would be funny if the bonus thing was don't steal from the great fairies. I just saw that I could get m rupees by hitting the Great Fairy Fountain. So I did. Go ahead and take these for myself. Annihilate the enemies. Come on, spawn in more dudes for me to annihilate. I'll do it as a tornado. Now just heavy bow you to death. Goodbye. Burn in a fiery tornado. I'll just send him back to his starting zone. Unova, we got this. And I will spin all these guys to death. Go this way, because it seems like a mystery. A Hylian captain cornered by a giant chew. Wow, thanks for your help. And spin time! Oh, that's not good. Dang it. I tried to dodge it, get a flurry rush. I'm sorry for the trouble. We'll go back to the village and stop the enemy's advance. You say we. You're alone. All your friends are probably dead. So annihilate all these enemies that are presumably in the way. Time for spinning! A super spin! I will now take your base. <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity since Daruk is just dueling that one guy one on one. And the AI not able to kill him without me controlling. Means I can do all the exploring. So at the very least, we should get the, like, initial two. And it might depend on what the hidden one is. If we will or will not get the mystery one. I still find it hilarious that the Gorons are the ones that fly highest. get yeeted into the air without a care in the world. Perfect. For ultimate death of enemies. <laughs> now I wonder how many people have gone through playing uh, this game 
Age of Calamity without even realizing the unique character action button exists. Because to be fair, it is kind of off to the side and, like, as far as I'm aware, no other, like, Dynasty Warrior-esque game does that. Come on, spawn more enemies, unless this is supposed to be one that I take over, like, far later. To me! I'll go ahead and do this. Bring you down. Go ahead and get bombed, idiot. And annihilate you with Aura Aura and Giant Rock. And now I'll go ahead and walk you, Nobo. No, no. There. And I'll kind of walk him a bit closer just in case if I destroy that ice mobble and fast enough that enemies start to become an issue. In fact, I should probably move Taba there. Good schmack. One second. Come to think of it. Hmm. Because if they're there, I wonder if I can take control. Because hmm. they might relate to the... Like, the Blade Masters. The Blade Masters were specifically... Like, noted. Hmm. Now I'm curious. The fact that the, like, Yiga clan were specifically noted, those guys are just hanging there, does make me wonder if, like, they're a part of it. But I don't think there's, like, hmm. Like, maybe I can do the heavy arrow at them. But I don't think so. Because Taba was not meant to be in this mission. It was just a random, oh, whoever you want to select. Because they're right here. Oh. Maybe I should use... Maybe I, I definitely should charge up Taba's, like, hard-hitting move a lot more, but... No, it doesn't seem like there's a way to get to them on this side. Unless I'm meant to bring, like, Yonobo all the way here, which I don't think I would, like, need to. But just for additional things, I'm going to come down here and check out that, like half above the base that everyone evacuated to because that seems ominous. Ever so slightly ominous. Alright, it just exists and still neat that it has like the rest of the area. Ah, but there's a treasure chest. Mighty Lionel Spear. Yeah, I guess we'll have you there, and... You keep doing this move. I don't like it. Stop it. I can't do... <laughs> like, the one character that I can't do my normal stasis shenanigans with. I won't let you call more monsters! Yeah! 
Yeah, it was part of the story. But I just wanted to make triple sure. Looks like we have Yika clan jerks to deal with, but attacking with Rudania is tricky right now. Alright, I'll send Yonobo to block off this guy up here. Go ahead and beat him up a little bit. You'd think the Yuka clan would have learned after getting their base smashed up, but I guess not, though. In fact, maybe I can just kill you and be quick with it. You think they want to make this village their new hideout? I couldn't read that fast enough, damn it. I'll make it back there. We did it! Save them! No time to go this along with some feathers. That did the trick. Go ahead and annihilate you. Annihilated. But yeah, I definitely need to use Taba's max power heavy arrow now. Dang it. This village belongs to the Yiga clan now. Give up and get out. How about no? Attacked by the wind that you utilize as your weapon. And be obliterated. We beat the ones who are calling the monsters, so the reinforcement should definitely stop now. Yonobo, more enemy in reinforcements incoming! Pulverize them before they assault the village! What? What? But how? We beat the Yiga clan! I guess we have no choice but to stop those monsters! Obliterate the silver one, most definitely. Come on, attack me. Make a mistake. Dang it, I made the mistake. This should annihilate you. I can go take out that outpost now, presumably. Die. This place is basically empty. Ah, you bomb them just a little bit, they all disappear, and you can't take over their base. Nightly. Here goes oh, dang it. But it might work, actually. Get obliterated. Once again, I'll set you more to the village area in case anything else pops up. Yonobo's probably getting <laughs> slapped by the Henox, but we don't want anything else to, like, spawn and sneak up on the base. Not with memory mission demanding we don't let things get in. <laughs> Take out his legs. I 
take your legs. They are mine now. Turn camera. All these mountains making it hard to see. Aura, 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 his body to his dead. It's over. <laughs> Take that, sucker. Right, Nom again. Spin to win. I do like that each of the different ones have different, like, preferred combos. Super cool. More flurry rushes. Get out of here. You're an ugly. You're hideous. So we shall just annihilate you with the glowy power of shields. what the, the secret bonus mission is. I can't think of any. I guess I'll try and glance around a bit. So let's see. The hidden one uh, with uh, Riju and Urboso was defeat Koga with Riju. The secret one in Rivali's was... I believe, save the... stranded... Rito Captain. At least you've done two. Oh. Why is there a nook there? I don't remember there being a nook there. Maybe I just never went this way in Kakariko Village. Let's go. Maybe if I adventure around. Lovely music, by the way. I haven't mentioned it, but it's actually very good. Hmm. Maybe they want me to visit the goddess statue. They won't let me visit the goddess statue. Sadness. But my religion. No time to lose. Let's venture around up here a bit more. Triple check everything. Up there should be completely done, but we only went this way a little bit. Hmm, the only thing I could think of is maybe the Great Fairy Fountain. It could very well be don't steal from the Fairy Fountain, which we failed, so. Let's get this over with. How dare you run me over, you big fat slime? You are an illegal slime. You will face no mercy in the court of law. Your fate is death. I am now inside the slime. I punch it. It shrinks noticeably. Oh, Suga has appeared. Oh, dang it. Yonobu is far away. There's still some Yiga fools left. You better not sneak in there, you Suga. So that's the one calling the monsters earlier, okay? I won't let him in. Here I come. No, here you go. Close to Daruk. Huh? What's all this about? Who's gonna be teleporting all over the place? So. Daru, 
I don't think he can. Interfere, and I will show no mercy. No, I shall not. Giving up is for losers like you. I will stasis you and smash you anyway. My own construct worked against me. Are you gonna run back down and basically play whack-a-mole on trying to get in? <laughs> I can see that. Get stabbed, have rocks fall upon you. Have a big bomb, a big bomb for a big boy. Get whapped, Suga. I will beat you up unless you run away. Ah, no. I got super hit. I still love the music in this game. It's so good. You're not sorry. Don't you lie to me, Suga boy. Stabbed in the back by a giant boulder of death. It's Goodbye, Suga. Ugh, Master Koga. I'm sorry. Looks like we pushed him back. Good work out there, Yonobo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was all thanks to you, Great Daruk. So yeah, it's probably gonna end up don't touch the fairy fountain is gonna be the secret. Probably, probably. And that one didn't show it, but maybe if we hover over it, it will reveal itself. That's why he's champion Daruk. Hmm. He gets to pilot the big thing. Hmm? Uh, no, no, not <laughs> me. They're not here to see me. They want a real champion, like you. Oh? Before I came here, I was afraid of everything. But there was someone who wanted to fight at my side anyway, Goro. Link. Future Link. Oh, we're actually gonna... That person. <laughs> That's cool. He's the one who taught me how to be brave. It's because of him that I've come this far. But I still have a long way to go. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud that you're my descendant. You are the champion of the whole future. And don't you forget it. I like Great this. Daruk, I'm so... And about that greatest <laughs> friend of yours, it seems I owe him as well. So you better give him my best. All right. Yeah. Good thing that Yonobo could tank the backslap, or else anybody else would have been thrown off. I like these little character moments. They're just so good. So very good. Ooh, a new EX mission opened up along with all the character things. This one is EX, the Yiga Clan's Retreat, which I can only assume is... Like, I don't know, maybe... 
couldn't be their retreat from their, like, base. So maybe, like, their retreat from Aster, maybe? God, the fairies want all my diamonds. Then the final one is EX Battle of Gapunga Blitzy. Uh, where was the other EX? I want to see. No, it's still question mark, question mark, question mark, but I can only assume that it is do not attack the Great Fairy Fountain. Or, like, cause it to shrivel up. That's what my uh, go-to bet is going to be. But I guess we've been going good. Might as well finish things off with uh, EX Battle of Kaponga Village. And you know what? Let's put I King Rome in there. Probably doesn't fit, like, timeline-wise, but screw it. I'll put on this one. Oh. We can get a... Let's see, what do we want to give? I guess maybe regular attack damage, but it is square. Ooh. Attack speed plus special attack, we get bonus stuff, so let's do it. <laughs> Level up the Royal Claymore. <laughs> and let's do EX Battle of Gapunga Village. Let's dive right in. Delicious. I agree. With the memory quest being defeat a hundred or more enemies with ice attacks. Ah, that's going to be difficult. That's going to be a bit difficult because I don't really have any, like, ice attacks. I guess ice wands and the runes, but that might take some replays to do. And then, question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's go. Let's-a go. As the war raged on, the threat of encroaching monsters loomed over Zora's domain. To protect their home, Zora soldiers fought desperately in the Laneru wetlands to hold the monsters back. However, pushed hard by the desperate battle, the soldiers had no choice but to request aid from Mipha and Sidon. I mean, that seems like the smart thing to do, get your best warriors to come out and help. <laughs> As Mipha and Sidon rushed to the Laneru wetlands, a diminutive shadow followed along Sidon the, the child Sidon child Sister. So before that we want to push back I shall head to the far outpost to stage a rescue me for take care of those nearby outposts I'll refute that first. Well, actually, I guess... I could, and then King Rome can... take care of them. The enemies are numerous, but with Mipha on my side, we will surely prevail! This epic music, though! Show yourself, Spins! <laughs> Big old king doing a flurry rush. Goodbye. What fine form. Your skill in battle is marvel to behold.
I really love the King's play style. Just the form changing is so satisfying to do. Get out of here, little minions. <laughs> like so. Goodbye. It won't falter. Immediately falters. <laughs> Such power? Take care of this chew. We're saved. Thank you, truly. That's the way. I'm just glad I made it in time. If you're still able to fight, please join the reinforcements. Please do not push yourself too hard. Come and let us move to a safe location. He defies fate. Music is so good. Oh, minion guy breaking the flow? How dare. You gotta do epic things and you dare get in my way. There should be not be enemies over there. Hold on a bit longer, I'll heal you the moment we arrive. King can go there. I won't Again, I like that all characters have like other character name dialogue. You can't just kick me out of my special action. Illegal. <laughs> I flurry rush your ally that you throw at me. Oh, I definitely want to do this. And no matter how many we strike down, there are always more. This keeps up. Be gone, Moblin. Considering the locked off things, I guess I'll send him over there. You did well to hold out for this long. However, that wound is great. Fall back to my sister. We have allies stationed at the outpost ahead. Please, will you help us rescue them? It shall be done. My sister will come uh, to cover the rear. Let us strike down the enemies ahead. Sarah should be safe. Be still now and I will heal you. Because I feel like something's gonna happen up there. Everyone nearby has been saved. From now on, I must join the fight as well. I guess actually, since this place is kind of locked off, uh, head forward as well. Goodbye. Oh, actually, perfect timing. You can go over there and beat up the media wizard. Oh wait, yeah, because that was Mipha. Oh, go ahead and take that. So everyone's can take on the things. Be gone. Oh. 
more monsters are targeting the domain from various locations. It would be safest to when I couldn't read fast enough because I'm a fool. One cannot help but smile. I won't falter. I won't stand for it. I must not fail. Can't let any of the captains flee. I just realized I haven't been doing ice attacks. way to defeat enemies with the ice attacks is to like get them in the water which this is Zora's domain and stuff but still it's gonna be a bit hard get flurry rushed idiot Draw your attacks, Meteo Wizard. I guess I'll send her there to more likely to take care of enemies. Let me ask you a question. Oh, yo, Silver Moblin. Get cut in twain. One cannot help but There he is. Stinking. Ah, get frozen. Take on the Hinox. We'll send Sidon to get the Blizz robe. Oh! Just a normal ally did a thing. I didn't even mean to flurry rush you. Gone. One cannot help us. I won't falter. God, you're annoying. You are very annoying enemy. I do not like the advanced whiz robes. Hang on. They're just annoying to deal with. Lady Misa. 
Hmm, the secret thing might be actually having Sidon go to the marked position. Since that's what the dialogue is saying. At least we got... Wait, that must have been the secret one. Nope, so just do not let any of them flee or defeat with the ice. Which I'm just not doing because I'm a failure. Farming enemies of ice is going to be a bit difficult, I feel like. Or maybe not. Maybe all these guys can serve as that. Not you, not the bomb man. What? <laughs> he actually bombed me over a railing. My guy's changes give me invulnerability frames. I was just stuck with my hand out, wondering what was going on. I'll try to lure the enemies into the water and freeze them with the rune, because there might be enough to squeeze out that... that amount that I need. Might be, might be. A little time-consuming, but... Potentially do it. How many do we need? Uh, probably not here, but we might be able to cheese it out elsewhere. Because I don't know, like, uh, any characters that actually have ice attacks. So it'll be slow, slow, unless I use more... Ice whiz rope wands. Yes, destroy yourself upon the ice. Ice to meet you. How many? 63. We might be able to do it. It's just funny because ice attacks are just whiz robe or this but in ice. So it's just like th the limit, which amuses me and frustrates me. Hello, enemy band. Come into the water. Be like Odysseus and come into the water. You just get force pushed behind me by the power of the ice block. <laughs> and then two survive, but not for long. 73. Guess you can move up there. I'm here, sister. See if they're. Ah, huh, maybe? Ah, uh, but no real water around, so it'll be a... Or is it? Is there a little bit of water? 
nope, that is not water that we can walk in, so... Kind of. Not these guys. Can't cheese them with the eyes. Hello, random treasure chest. I shall take you. <laughs> the light scale trident just out here. Yeah, these guys should definitely get me up to the maximum limit. Come into the water. Play in the water for doom and death. Even though it is, we it will be a little bit slow since his don't have the suction of Mifas. It's mostly just letting enemies walk into it. I wonder if Zelda would work because she has attacks that use the Frost Rune as just like a basic thing, but that might not technically count. Technically, technically, technically. Only four more! That's two. There's two more, I believe. Somebody's dying, that's not good. Guess I'll send everybody together. Might have been waiting a bit too much. Uh-oh, indeed. Why'd you get in battle with the fucking whiz rope? Okay, so maybe we won't need them, need them, so... In case anything decides to spawn here. One cannot help but smile. Make way, monsters. It's king time. Goodbye, dear monster. Get combo, bitch. Ah, uh, darn it, hit me still. I wanted to dodge through the lightning. Well, you really know, but this really isn't him out. How did you know, Prince Sidon? I will just do this. Pure intuition. Let us assault it straight away and halt the reinforcements. thing. I knew enemies couldn't resist. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make sure. Additional reinforcements have arrived. We must defeat them for the safety of the domain. I'm not letting you guys get close to them. <laughs> You're not getting close to those captains. Oh, how did Lady Mipha see that coming? Get out of here, monsters. Silence. One cannot help but smile. And of course their corpses blow up. Oh, he actually turns into the hermit for this attack. <laughs> we did it! I should put a stop to the reinforcements. Okay, 
I guess I'll send Mipa to take the outpost. Oh. Wrong button, Darley. They just spam that because I went away. Ow. Let me try and weaken you a bit. Go ahead and take this place because I can. Well, as quickly as possible. Be gone. I will take this. Because I can. And now send her back to Sidon. Nope. <laughs> Freeze. You are a threat and must be dealt with. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll spam a bit. <laughs> I'll take a decent crack at your health. Coming at lightning speed! You are spinning to win it at lightning speed there. Goodbye. The reinforcements have stopped. Perhaps everything will be alright now. We cannot attack, so things should be good. Okay, now to check the extent of the damage and tend to the wounded. But considering that the opening narration spoke of, I assume, Mini Sidon, what will be of it? And yep, we got all three! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, hell yeah! Getting all the good stuff! Booyah! Our injuries are being tended to. On to the next task. <laughs> Thank you for your efforts. <sighs> I'm going to heal you now. <laughs> there you are, Mini Sidon. Princess. Meanwhile, how did more, no more moblins sneak up on you like this? They're moblins. Many side them. That's not how you do things. You fool. But luckily, big side will come to save the day. Hopefully. Because that's the kind of fun, fictiony interaction that would be great. <laughs> because has many side met big side all the water effects there are great with the, the impact. <laughs> are you unharmed? I don't even think Mini Sidon can speak. I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you so much, both of you. But what? What are you doing here? You wanted to help us, isn't that so? You would know. Because it was you a hundred years ago, probably. <laughs> However, I was able to save your sister because you were so brave. Great job. <laughs> and you'll only get stronger. Strong enough to... Change the future. To protect your dear sister. Heh <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of hilarious that young Sidon just, like, never speaks. Which is funny, because he's like a creation of this. This game. Because I don't think Mini Sidon was in any of the cutscenes. Like, the memory cutscenes of Breath of the Wild. Alright, and a another EX memory... Mission unlocked. With more EX diddly Ds. I'll probably save my money because I'll want to probably like do 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 things. It's you. Let's see. Yes. 
Because those are still question mark, question mark, question mark, which probably means beat the, yes, quite. like, final mission. Hmm. Because right, that's the thing. I don't know if, like... Because we're getting these now, so I almost think that that's a big thing. But now I think let's do, like, these two EX missions, and then we'll probably call that a day. I'll play as Link, just cause. Let's do this. Pura and Robbie study. I forgot to read the mission description. <laughs> I'm so used to missions not having, like, descriptions that I can read. You know what would be cool? If the mission description actually popped up as the first tooltip, and then you could scroll. I think that would be a nice, like, uh... Just like something. Like, a, I, I had a word, but then the word ran away. It's like a compromise, a good compromise. So you don't have to, like, move around information on the main screen. Yes, yes. The time is now! Let's do some field research! Help oh, Pura and their allies make way to the targeted position. Okay. We're after specific monsters today. Hopefully it goes well. Rude. Triply rude when these projectile monsters get out of sync with one another. So they do annoying things. And I'm missing a single fourth of a heart. And therefore lose my powers. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Let's investigate the ones over here. Hey now, it's dangerous to go wandering around alone. Well, it seems we have no choice but to follow. Defeat the blizz robes. The real question is, why would Pearl want to be there to witness it and be in danger? I, I hate the advanced ones because they don't have... They can just summon them from wherever, and I hate it. They just summon their attacks out of the ether, so it's nearly impossible to dodge. Ugh. Pain. Alright, that's one down. Time for a celebration pose, Linky. Click snap. Come on, don't leave me hanging here. <laughs> you do not get another cycle. Die. Yes, perfect. Perfectly perfect. Thanks for the help. You didn't even do anything. I did all the things. Defend for their allies until they arrive at the targeted position. Have you just been here fighting these goblins this entire time, Robbie? Seems there's inactive guardians around here. I have a bad feeling about this. What guardian? Should I analyze it just a bit? Kind of amusing that Robbie is the voice of reason. Just gotta take out the flyers. Get out of here. And you're gonna wake up, because of course you will. Oh, the Guardian's right after us! This seems right up your alley! Thanks in advance! No legs for you. You can't be serious! Oh, another Guardian woke up. Good thing I was saving. How about no? No jumping for Guardians. Oh, 
Unbelievable. Since when is field research this perilous? I'm sorry, that's on me. I'll be more careful anyway. Our next stop is over there. Um, no, I will refrain from commenting further. Just defeat the normal enemies. No! Not again! I'll take out one. Or at least try to. Oh, come on. There's plenty of water around, so just use that. Take out a bunch of foes at once. They are the electric ones. They are the ones that are going to take out a lot of us at once. Yeah, it didn't even do anything. Fuck off, you little bastards! Ruining my goddamn shielding! I hate you. So stupid. I'm blocking a laser. Let me block the goddamn razor, you bastards! Okay, you need to fuck off. <laughs> Get Flurry Rush. Take that, asshole. Well, at least I didn't do too much damage. Let me guess, is another one gonna pop up? At least this one is, like, right next to this one. So hopefully, I'll be able to get rid of this one by the time the other one gets here, which means a fourth one will then enter the fray. Well, no, I guess a fifth one, because that is the fourth one that's going to enter the fray. Goodbye, Electric Guardian. You big old jerk. You tweaking out, jerk! Ah, get Flurry Rush. Pearl, why are you getting so close to the Electric Guardian? You must know that's bad for your health. Go ahead and freeze it in time and space. Please die, Electric Guardian. Woohoo! How exciting! Thanks for coming with us. We got lots of materials yes, because yes. of you. Mm, yes. Well, this has been another successful. Uh, these results might be quite good. Yeah, now if you avoid the horrible fear of death. With the guardians just flanking me on both sides. Okay, yeah, that's a high resell. I only need to sell four. I still wonder about the sword in the loading screen. Because I, I don't think any sword in the game looks like that. I swear. Do... Hmm. So we could do that. Because these only do need the Bobbita Buzz. And both of these require. Hmm. Like two of the Thanks. materials. Let's 
see. So there's a decent amount there. Let me quickly make sure. All done, all done, all done, all done. Chief in training, we might do you later. Escorting the injured as Sidon, Prince's escort. Like grains of sand. Anti flame and ice training. A Princess Unobo. Fire hazards, Impa's damage control. Defend the Spring of Courage. Nap quest. EX Road to Akala. Citadel. There's a decent amount here. We've been going for three hours. So I think what we'll do is, hmm, well, first things first, we'll, like, try and, like, get as many of the upgrades done for characters we really care about, and uh, then I'll do more grinding for Saturday. Because, let's see... That spear, flail, spear, spear EX. Two handed, two handed EX. Let's do side and bonus hearts. If it takes all the hearty salmon. To do her part for the soldiers fighting Calamity Ganon, a nutritionist in Zora's domain wishes to create an innovative new dish. Something hearty using seafood from distant regions. By combining hardy salmon from the north with hardy blue shell snails from Lorelin Village, the nutritionist created a sumptuous seafood dish. Its rich flavor instilled morale in all who ate it. Mifa bonus arts. Word has it that a new monument will be built in Zora's domain. It may take years to complete. The sculptures would doubtlessly appreciate a hearty meal to get them through a long day of work. I will not rest on Their bellies own. filled with wholesome food, the sculptors worked with a plum. At this rate, the project was on track for completion far sooner than originally expected. Safety inspectors have determined that many outposts lack buoys for people to use in the event of a flood. Maybe you can provide a substitute of some kind. Here, have monster parts. I've done it. The Octorock materials made for perfect flotation devices. Between the original buoys and your monster-made alternatives, all the outposts were now well equipped for an emergency. Ooh, side in the X ability. Almost missed this. Sidon has heard tale of a soldier in the Hyrulean army who's good at waterfall climbing. For the sake of victory, they must speak. However, this export lives in a place with lots of lightning. I won't stop there. A fully prepared Sidon met with the soldier and the two swapped insights about waterfall climbing. Each compiled their experiences in a report which should prove useful in future. Summon fish-shaped waves that attack enemies alongside you. Mm. The Sheikah researchers wish above all else to gain a deeper understanding of the ancient Sheikah civilization. To aid their efforts, donate ancient materials that you have acquired in your travels. I am stronger than the researchers were delighted by the mountains of ancient materials. Though a long ways from true understanding, by sharing data and materials they were able to take a major step forward. Flail bonus combo. We need more bees. Let's see, Daruk, two bonus hearts. Work on Death Mountain's Gorko Tunnel has ground to a halt. It seems the miners are too hungry to keep going. They're craving a rock roast that season just right. Good thing I bought all those chickadoos. <laughs> Rock salt, goron spice, and a dash of chickaloo tree nut. Ta-da! A perfect roast roast. Roast roast? Rock roast. Sated by the gourmet meal, the miners easily dug out Gorko Tunnel as far as it could go. 
Mifa EX ability. Mifa, after requesting to train with Daruk, was advised to consider any shortcomings and how she wants to improve before training begins. Now she must reflect on her past battles. After examining her past battles and toughest enemies, Mifa was able to isolate areas for improvement. Daruk loudly declared that she was much stronger after their subsequent training. While in midair, press ZR to cloak yourself in water and dive to the ground. Yeah. Very good. Ooh. Ah. That's more Master Cycle. Yonobo, plus two hearts. With soldiers from all over Hyrule feeling worn out, the Gorons plan to raise everyone's spirits with a wrestling match for the ages. Help the fighters prepare for a fierce smackdown. And the crowd goes wild! Everyone had a great time watching the epic clash of heavyweights unfold. It looks like wrestling may soon become one of the kingdom's most popular sports. You come across a bawling Goron boy, upset that he can't lift large stones. Through tears, he says, To pick up big rocks, I gotta have big muscles! You know something that might help. Luckily, I have a ton of razor shrooms. I'm getting stronger all the time. With a little help, the boy could pick up large stones and hurl them, taking out monster after monster. Now he wants to do lots of strength training, so that he can lift rocks without assistance. Seemingly emboldened by the calamity, monsters are encroaching upon the Goron's favorite relaxation spot, the Hot Springs. Chip in a little for defenses so that folks can steam in peace. Stronger than before. With your help, the Gorons created a Hot Springs defense crew. Their bodies toughened up like stalwart stones, the guards easily swatted away disruptors, making it safe for everyone to visit. Ooh, Master Koga special attack gauge. Among the Yiga clans, Rank is a food lover who's getting a little tired of the clan's all banana diet. Maybe a taste of some veggies from Kakariko Village would cheer him up. Am I even allowed to be this strong? After a delightful feast of veggies fresh from Kakariko Village, the Yiga foodie began quivering with excitement. That's exactly the kind of enthusiasm that will help revive the Yiga clan! Impa, special attack gauge. The... <clears throat> I almost did <laughs> Koga again. The plum tree tranquility watching over Kakariko Village has begun to look less vibrant of late. Seeing this, Impa's mood has faded as well. Perhaps fertilizer will help restore its lost splendor. Nourished with fertilizer from Princess Zelda, the plum tree returned to its full flowering glory. Impa seemed much cheerier too, as though the tree's energy was a reflection of her own. Link bonus hearts. Why does he need a hundred wood? In a snowy region, Link meets a traveler searching far and wide for a goddess statue. There's a block of ice nearby that's the right shape. Perhaps melting it would reveal the missing statue. As anticipated, the block of ice melted to reveal a goddess statue. The harsh weather had frozen it solid, but Link's campfire and the traveler's blazing ardor thawed it free. Glance around at any character things, because there's Master Cook a bonus heart. Mostly just glancing at characters I super care about. King Rome. A village that was devastated in the Calamity is suffering from widespread famine. To help restore the town, bring some food for vendors to sell in the local marketplace. What fate grants me, I accept. With the local marketplace once again stocked with groceries, business began again in earnest. The people fed and ready to work set about the long process of rebuilding their town. Flail bonus combo. So, yeah. Oop, and I guess. Side and bonus hearts. 
Zora and Lightning do not mix. Some have tried to address the issue using electro elixirs, but they have little effect on Zora. Maybe a certain fruit would prove more effective. Or they could, like, well, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they tried to spread the elixir over their bodies and it wouldn't work. The Zora served up the meal at a big lightning-proof luncheon, and it was so delicious that all the attendees cling to their plates in a flash. Only time will tell if it'll help, but at least it was tasty. And I think that's like most of the upgrades that I want to do eminently. But I will, well, I guess I could also do just like all the ones that are available, available. Just to get them out of the way, except for the fairies. The fairies are expensive, so I might put them off. <laughs> the instructor at the spear training ground is working on an unprecedented new training technique. It apparently helps achieve mastery of the flail. Collect some items to help the cause. The instructor was inspired by the materials who gathered and devised a new training technique. It's a bit out of the ordinary, but you may gain a new ability out of it. Spear bonus combo. A big group of aspiring spear masters came to the training ground, but there isn't room for all of them. Maybe Link can provide the instructor some materials to expand his facilities. With Link's help, the spear instructor was able to make his training ground much larger. Link learned some advanced techniques from training with all the new students. To prepare for the fight, well, that requires a... Uh, like an EX level for material, so we won't do that one. Because we want to save those for the ones I really want to do. The volunteer army has invited brave souls from across Hyrule to train together and prepare for the calamity. Get some provisions for the big day. With their stomachs full of tasty food, the fighters really threw themselves into the joint training session. All the participants improved their two-handed weapon skills. I guess we can come down here and do Master Koga. To raise their comrade spirits, a few Yiga clan members are planning to buy up all the mighty bananas Gerudo Town has to offer. Give them something to resist the stifling desert heat. And that takes all my money. <laughs> well, look at that. The Yiga shoppers bought up all the mighty bananas in Gerudo Town. Although they ran out of cool safflina halfway home, their love of bananas won out against the blistering heat. Bosa Bonus Hearts 2. Though wild berries tend only to flourish in regions of snowfall, a Gerudo gardener wishes to cultivate them in the desert. Perhaps some good fertilizer will give the fruits a fighting chance. I will put this strength Princess Zelda used the monster parts to make a high quality fertilizer for the Gerudo gardener. If all goes well, these wild berries are sure to bring a handsome profit. Capitalism. Ruining all ventures. And I guess we'll secondarily do all of Hestu. You hear that Hestu, the magician of Korok Forest, wants to play a recital for all his siblings. Bring me lots of Korok seeds so I can shake my maraca shakala. I cannot do a good Hestu for the life of me. With plenty of seeds to fill his maracas, Hestu played a lively rhythm that got everybody in Korok Forest dancing. The great Deku Tree watched in silence as the revelers pranced about. A rhyme-loving Korok has come up with a new riddle of Hyrule. It goes, Stealing these cloven shoes, take care or you might get flame in your hair. Might this be the answer? Korok's demanding hits on Lionel's. Everyone was stumped by the riddle until Hestu came forward with the correct answer. The Korok overjoyed rewarded their big sibling by teaching him a new move. Does Hestu just carry around parts of Lionel's? He's a menace. 
One Korok dreams of traveling all over Hyrule, but they're not brave enough, bringing delicacies from each region of Hyrule so that they can explore the world from the comfort of home. Again, sometimes this feels like a Saturday morning cartoon. Ooh, just how sweet it is sometimes. Amazed by the foods from each region, the Korok decided to stop letting fear hold them back. They began training with Hestu so they'd be ready to take their first steps into the world beyond. One of the Koroks is upset because no matter how hard they spin their leaf, they can't seem to fly their siblings. Like their siblings. They should try using... Flay... They should... I don't know why my brain just ain't good today. They should try using fire to create an updraft. That'll get them off the ground. Or burn them alive. <laughs> Riding on eddies of warm air above the crackling fire, the Koroks sailed through the sky with ease. With practice, they became an expert. They even taught Hestu a bit about the art of flying. Oh, and then he gets an e EX as well. And question mark, question mark. Hmm. A Korok is wailing and bouncing up and down beneath a tall tree. It seems they really want a taste of those plump acorns hanging from the high branches. But they're scared of heights. In exchange for the big bag of acorns, the Korok gave you an equal amount of Korok seeds. We forest dwellers never forget a kindness, they said. Let's see, yeah, the only ones left seems to be... Fairy, Fairy, and Riju. Which, I do believe, that's everything for now. I'll definitely try to do more grinding, get more vicious monster plaques to hopefully finish the thing off. Do more resource grinding so that we can hopefully, hopefully finish off all the major upgrades I want to get. But we will see, we will see, we will see. I still really like Age of Calamity. The character stuff. The music. And plus, the gameplay just feels nice to do when the enemies aren't just ganging up on you on the harder things. <laughs> but yes, but yes, but yes, that shall be it for now, I do believe. Hmm. Although, da -da -da -da. Uh, that's a first clear reward. That has just things in general. But, yeah, we can just wait for it. Well, that'll be it for now. That'll be it for now. Yeah, but it does feel like we're kind of in uh, entering into the end. Because I'm not sure how many, like, uh, DLC missions there are. So, depending on my grinding, like, next time might just be finish off all the side quests that we currently have. Then, like, do all the DLC side missions that pop up. And then, see about doing the, what I presume to be the final thing, since it's all Hyrule united. I feel like that'll be the end. <laughs> ah, but that shall be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, so the next time we stream should be Saturday with more Age of Calamity. We might just try to barrel on through and complete this as quickly as possible. And then I'll decide what I'll stream after this another time. But if you want other things from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, with direct links to my link tree and my various descriptions, bios, and link places of the various sites, it has links to everything that I do. 
like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube and streaming Twitch, depending on your preference, of all of these streams being uploaded to the streaming YouTube channel after the fact for quality. Also in my link tree is links to places where I upload art, like my little character in the corner and my in-slate art. So like different social medias and art sites. And then I also upload writing to a few sites as well, because writing is fun. And then finally in my link tree is uh, my Patreon, a glorified donation bucket of the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And uh, thank you for spending your time with me. Bye. 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 <laughs>